Hey guys, Sam here with Fins Twins TV, back with another video. The fish are really biting on the lake, but we're going to have to stop and take a break and change the engine oil on our Yamaha show. So I figured I'd bring you guys along and show you guys how we're doing it. Hope you all enjoy this video. Make sure to go down and click that red subscribe button and stay tuned. Alright, so the first thing we have to do is take off this cover just above the lower unit and take off the engine cowlin and we're going to need an Allen wrench and 5mm and a screwdriver. Alright, so first thing you have to do is take the engine cowlin off and there's three things you need to do that. There's this clip here, one around on the other side right in the front and then the same one over here on the other side. Once we have those pulled off, we can go ahead and take the engine cowlin off and it's a rubber seal going all the way around. We need to shake it loose and then we can pick it up and pull it off. Now be really careful taking this off. We're just gonna lay it on the back deck. All right, so we got the engine count off. Now we have six screws we need to take off to pull off this cover. This is a five millimeter Allen wrench. And this screw right here, just above the prop, is gonna be our longest screw. And we're gonna take it out first. All right, we got it out. And then right here under where your water hose connects, there's another screw down here on the bottom. Again, an Allen wrench. And we're gonna pull it out. All right, and then right here on the side, there's another Allen wrench. And then right around the back here, there's one more Allen wrench screw that we're gonna get. Our fourth Allen wrench screw, and the third short one. All right, we got it out. Now we can go ahead and grab our Phillips head or flathead screwdriver. And if you come right over here on top, you can see that there's two Phillips head and flathead screws. And once we get this first one out here in the center, about five inches to the right, there's one more just like it. Once you get these guys out, that's what they look like. Little Phillips head and flat head screw on the end, a little washer on it. Okay, so now we're ready to take this cover off the side. Now keep in mind right here on this black piece where the steering column comes down, there's a little gap. And in that gap, there's two little rubber pieces and a peg going through them. So when we take this cover off, it's going to need to push that way and push those pegs through the rubber. So we go ahead and we can grab it right here, pull it out, there's a couple clips. And you see it's still attached right here where that gap is. And we're gonna push straight to it. There we go, that side will come off. All right, so before we get wrenching on this thing, we're gonna take our hose and we're gonna connect it to the connection right here. And we're gonna run our engine at idle for about five minutes to make sure we get that oil warmed up and loosened up and make sure we can get it all out of there. All right, so once you got the hose connected, we're gonna turn the water on and we're gonna get the engine running. So our engine's been running for about five minutes now. So we cut the engine off and then we tilted our engine forward to about 45 degrees, make sure we got oil all the way up to the front, make sure we can get it all out of there. All right, so now we're gonna drop the engine back down, we got the water out of it, and the oil up to the front. We're gonna get our oil catch pan, pull it right down under here. And then right here I have a 13, no, 14 millimeter socket wrench, I put a little extender on there. You don't have to have this, but with the way um, this bolt goes in there, it is a little easier to have an extension on there. Before we pull the oil bolt, we go ahead and pull out the dipstick, and then come in here on the other side, and then we're gonna loosen up the, uh, the cap, and then on the other side of the engine, we're gonna use a oil filter wrench. I'm gonna twist this guy off.
All right, there we go. So I'm just gonna use this little styrofoam plate. We're gonna use it as a funnel to get this oil down into the pan. Now the reason I'm using this paper plate right here is to make sure we don't get any oil on our engine. I'm just gonna hold this plate right here, make sure we get everything out we can. All right, so we've given it about 10 minutes. We got it to a really slow drip. So we're gonna wipe off that little collar right there. And we can put this bolt back in. Now this bolt is threaded into aluminum. So once it gets down tight, don't go any further because you will strip it out. All right, so we're gonna go getting the oil out. Now we're gonna replace the oil filter. This is just the Yamaha parts oil filter. For the Yamaha Show F250, I'll leave all these parts down in the description below where you guys can get them. When I come over here, you can see where we pulled this guy out. We're gonna thread it back in there, but first, we're gonna take a little bit of oil out of our pan, and we're gonna run it right around this gasket Make sure we have a good seal on our oil filter. We'll come right in here. I'm gonna run our oil filter right down these threads. And once we got it in there tight, we're gonna grab the wrench and tighten it back down a little more. Okay, so on the engine, it says from Yamaha that you want seven 0.1 quarts, but we're going to use 6.7. That's what all of the Yamaha techs that we know say, because this engine can make some oil from time to time. So we have a four quarts and then three more quarts. We're going to go through this guy, both of these, and about half of this one, and then we'll look at it on the dipstick, and I'll show you guys where you want it on there in just a second. So follow me around here, and uh, we're going to pour this oil into the reservoir. Now I'm going to be using a funnel open this oil up we're gonna start pouring this oil in there all right so now we're on our last quart and we're gonna leave just over a quarter left in here and we're gonna check the dipstick all right so we're gonna check the dipstick now and you can see the oil level is right in between the two little holes in the dipstick and that's right where we want it after we ran the oil through the filter and let it drain for a second. All right, and for the last part, we're gonna put our side and the cowling back on. The one tricky part, the same thing, these two little rubber rings, we need to make sure the peg gets through them. So we're gonna lay that on there. And pull the pegs back through it. And we are good to go. And then all you're going to need to do is put the bolt back in this cover and make sure your longest Allen wrench bolt goes in this hole right here at the bottom. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Make sure to go down and click that red subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time.